Well, we hear the warnings all the time about giving wildlife in our state some distance. We do, Dom, and this video is a clear example as to why. Take a look. People surround a bull elk in Estes Park. The aggressive elk charges with one woman taking the brunt of that attack. Our Dylan Thomas is live now in Estes Park. Elk are rutting right now, Dylan, and this could really be a busy weekend for all the people who want to go out and see the animals. Brit, this weekend is Elk Fest up here in Estes Park, meaning there's plenty of tourists and elk, just like these ones over my shoulder, everywhere around town. I was only in town today for less than five minutes before I witnessed a mob surround a herd, forcing law enforcement to get involved. But as some witnessed just yesterday, help isn't always right around the corner when a bull charges. Estes Park is known for its beauty and access to Rocky Mountain National Park. Often, this town is owned by tourists, but... This time of year, it's the Elks. It's called the rut. <coughs> it's mating season. That is where the bulls come down and the people come following them. Unfortunately, tourists approaching elk is not uncommon. I wish I could say it was, but no, people get too close to the elk all the time. It's a very dangerous situation. Brian Berg, the town's park supervisor, was leaving a meeting Thursday when he saw a bull charging a woman near the visitor center. Uh, that bull was very aggressive. Karen Harrison was sitting in her car nearby. I cut the video on. I knew he was mad. He was charging. Everybody ran off, and she was there by herself with this elk attacking her. When she got up, he kind of went back at her. He flipped her several times. Berg hopped the curb in his truck. And I was able to drive and park right here in front of the bull and the people. Uh, and he just hit me as soon as I parked. He shook that truck like it was nothing. He put a pretty good hole through it. The woman was able to escape without serious injury. I'm just glad you were there for him. For Harrison, Berg is nothing less than a hero. So without you, it, things would have gotten really bad. Berg says he's just happy things didn't end much worse. Everyone gets lucky every once in a while. I just hope everyone that sees the video learns to stay back, way back. That's why we have Zoom on our cameras. While many may wonder why nobody physically intervened, Parks and Wildlife say it might be actually be a good thing. In this situation, you're supposed to clap your hands, throw something at the elk, or maybe even honk the horn in order to scare it off. But they say it's always important to keep a physical barrier between yourself and that bull and make sure it has an escape path that it can find. Live in Estes Park, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. And yeah, people got to enjoy that wildlife from a distance, Dylan. Thank you.